welcome to this Sheepdog uh, video introduction. In this video I'm going to show you how to start a cluster, how to import an existing BDI, so if you have a, an already existing virtual machine you can import it, import it into the cluster and uh, use it right away. I will show you also how to import an ISO image so we can create uh, a new gas from scratch. So let's start. This is a script I created previously. I'm going to explain this later on. So ship ship dog has to be has to run on each node, of course. Okay, let's check if the process is there. Yes. You can see also this. Okay. Well, the process is uh, running on uh, every node. So let's check how many nodes we have. Dog node list. Dog is the command that we use to interact with ship dog. It's a funny word joke between dog and ship. Okay, now we have. We can see the four nodes. Each node uh, has an IP and a port that communicates uh, with them. And there is an ID that we are going to, to use later on. Let's see also some uh, information about the cluster. As you can see, the cluster is uh, uh, new, so is uh, waiting to be formatted. Uh, what does that mean? It means that uh, we can choose uh, the default uh, redun redundancy policy <coughs> for the cluster. Now uh, I have a small cluster, so <coughs> it's enough to create uh, two copies uh, for, uh, for each object. This is the syntax, dog cluster format C2. Okay, let's check again the information. Now we can see auto recovery is enabled. We can see the creation time of the cluster and we see how many nodes were inside the cluster when it started on. If we want more information, we can increase the verbosity. And here we see that uh, the redundancy policy is 2. Well, let's check the VDI list, and of course it's empty. <coughs> now I'm going to import an existing uh, VDI. I previously created a, a share folder. As you can see, this one is my VDI. So I'm going to use QEMU EMG convert. I have to tell QEMU IMG what format the VDI is. And now the destination. Destin the destination is not a file path but is ship dog. And then I choose a VDI name and I keep the same one. Okay, it's going to take about one minute and a half. While this is running, I will show you some uh, information also on the other nodes. We can see that the process ship is running and is using some CPU. And if I run a top, I can also see the disk activity and the network activity. We have uh, 86 uh, megabyte in input, and uh, well, as of now, we have a, a low uh, input output uh, activity on the disk, only 3 megabyte per second. 
So what's happening now is that uh, the node t test 004 is uh, importing the VDI and is creating more copies and spreading them uh, on the other nodes. So you see the ship process is running on every node. Now I can tell you more about my script. Well, this is the syntax. The an option is just to have better performance. Varlib shipdog <coughs> is the folder where the metadata are going to be stored and uh, MT ship zero is a, a mount point uh, for my disk. You can see here I have a dedicated device that is uh, mounted on MT ship zero and the size is uh, 200, uh, 220 giga. The second row it uh, tells uh, Shipdog um, where the cluster manager is running on. We have uh, three nodes where the cluster manager is running and if uh, any of the nodes is going to be missing uh, the, the cluster manager is going to advise all the other nodes. In the end here we have uh, this uh, option that uh, allow me to uh, to use a dedicated uh, network interface only for the input output uh, of Shipdog. This way, if there is a recovery in process, uh, I don't affect the, uh, the virtual machine uh, network speed. Okay, here is done. So now let's check the VDI list. Here it is. This is the VDI name, this is its size, and these are other information that I'm not I'm not going to explain now, but maybe in a in a later video. So what we need now is only to, to start the 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 guest we we created. This is just uh, a straight QEMU command, and the options are just the name, enable uh, the acceleration, and this is the syntax for using a shipdog VDI. Shipdog column Debian LXD. This option virtio is just to have better performance. This is the RAM memory, how many cores we give the guest. Uh, the key map, VGA, standard and other options. So now I'm going to start a guest on the node test 004. Okay, nothing wrong, so let's look the one c The gas is running. You see, we have the Quemu process and ship, and here is our gas. It's just another Debian with LXD graphical environment and what I want to show you now is that I'm going to save some data in this guest and this data are going to be available on uh, all the other nodes. Let's create a simple text file. Okay, 
keep in mind that the gas now is running on test uh, 004 I'm going to shut down the gas. As you can see, the QEMU process is not is not running anymore. And now, just to make uh, sure you understand how Sheepdog work, I'm going to remove test 004 from the cluster. So I move to another node, I can choose any of them. And I see the list. And now to disconnect uh, test 004, I'm going to use its ID, and the ID is 0. Check the list again. The node is not uh, in the cluster anymore. Check if uh, ship is running and is not running anymore on test 004. What's happening now in the cluster? Oh, it has been too fast. The recovery is already is already done. We cannot see the recovery in process because it has been already made. What I want to show you now is that I am going to run the same guest on test 005. Is starting. Let's check if my file is still there. The file is still there and this file was created while the gas was running on test 004. Now we can just leave the gas running here, we don't care. This time I'm going, I'm going to show you the, the recovery in process. So now I do the opposite of before, I'm going to rejoin the cluster with the test 004. What I have to do is just to run again ship. And there it is, you see that uh, uh, test 004 is receiving data from the other guest, uh, for, sorry, from the, from the other nodes. recovery is soon done and now it's, it's ready so let's see the second part of this video just uh, import uh, an ISO image and create uh, a new VDI for a new guest now I'm moving on another node just to make you understand that doesn't matter where you do the operation.
it's working. It's done. Let's see the VDI list. We have our Debian ISO image. And now let's say that I want to create a new guest. And let's say 10 giga. Sorry. Here is our new VDI. Of course, it's empty. And to create uh, and run a new guest, uh, I can just take uh, use the, 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 the previous script and use it like a template. our new guest ready to be installed. That's all for this first introduction video. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.